We got our our new friend that we just got from Jill. Jilly Jill. Jilly Gum. Yep. Uh, Farah. Hi, Farah. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, so um, you've back. come to us with this. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. Tell us what's going on here. What happened? I started um, a week and a day ago with a little, what looked like a mosquito bite. Mm -hmm. And then the next morning it had grown to include like the top knuckles and it was um, red and angry and... And fortunately for us, Farah had taken a picture of what her right hand looked like when she came in for her first treatment. Mm -hmm. So um, on Friday I came in to Jill mm -hmm. and it was red and angry and she put me on an antibiotic right. and I did Epsom salt soaks Good. and uh, hot compresses. Mm -hmm. And um, now we're doing this. Okay, you're okay if we video your procedure for our friends on YouTube and on the internet? Yes. Wonderful. Well, thank you. It looks like you've been putting some kind of something on here. Some ointment of some kind. Mm, uh, no. Oh, that's it. We pre and oh, Gonzo put uh, pre anesthetized you with a, a little viscous lidocaine. Very cool. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a very small injection here of some one percent lidocaine, and then we're going to make a bit of a stab incision and see if we can't drain that and also get a wound culture. Mm -hmm. Now this isn't going to be as bad as it looks. Okay. We're going to feel a little cold spray, and then hopefully we've numbed this up enough where. This, you'll barely feel anything here. Okay. It's hard to get it in there, but I think we are. You mm -hmm. might be feeling just a little bit of a sting. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a teeny tiny. Okay, good. You can give me that. All right. So that's phase one. Step one, I should say. Next step is to be, it's going to be making a little decision here. You okay? You ready? I think so. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to make a small incision right there. Oh my goodness. You hit the jackpot? The, yeah, the whole, looks like an S car just sort of came out. I didn't even need to make an incision. Ugh. This Do whole you want thing. to throw it in here? Um, yeah, I'll just put that right in there. There you go. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. You know what I want, Gonzo, is uh, I need that culture because I want to try to get a, a little better wound culture here. So pushing it down. So we're going to see if we can Because I make got sure some, some of that kind of goop kind of came out mm -hmm. over the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and then this, it's kind of been doing some more of that. And I hate to blame things on spider bites or insect bites, but this looks like you had some kind of bite that, that got this started. And I would not at all be surprised to say that this might have been a, you know, to, to, to know that this was a spider bite. Although I don't know for sure that it was. Yeah. Um, it looks like you might have had a little staph infection here. The antibiotic you've been given has probably been helping, but you can see this redness you have around here. Mm -hmm. It's not cleared up, so I am changing your antibiotic today. Okay. Uh, we're going to presume that this is staph okay. uh, until proven otherwise. So if we get some culture information that is uh, that tells us we need to change the antibiotic I'm giving you today, then we will call you and do that. Okay. Now, what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to put a dressing on this, and we want to keep this clean and dry. Okay. Do not, this would really be a bad idea, put ointment on this, okay? Okay. If you put ointment on it, it could plug that back up and allow this to abscess, okay. which it kind of looked like it was at first, but really that wasn't an abscess. That was what we call an eschar, which that kind of thing that looked like pus that kind of came yeah. off right there, that was an eschar, just a very small one. All right, so hopefully this is going to heal up just fine for you. Thank you so much for sharing your uh, procedure and your story with us, Farah. We really appreciate it. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Action. All right, guys, the next video for the Meta 7 is coming up. Stay tuned. I took mine. Take yours. Okay, we're rolling. Tell us about uh, Meta 7. Okay, I've been on the Meta 7 now about two months. Um, I feel real great. After the first 15 minutes, I feel like I get a good boost of energy. Uh, after about two weeks, I was able to curb my appetite. I've now lost about 12 pounds, and I'm continuing to uh, lose a little bit more weight. But uh, I love the stuff. It's great. Okay, do you still feel uh, sleepy, drowsy in the afternoons? No, no not okay. at all. And you're getting stuff done? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And do you everything. feel hungry while you're taking it? I don't, actually. I have to remind myself a little bit to at least snack on something. Fantastic. So it's working well for you and you don't feel you don't feel jittery or shaky. Not at all. 
feel natural. Yes. Great yes. boost, uh, didn't it? Yes, yes. Good deal, it. man. I appreciate you sharing with all our uh, fans out there. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you.